Now, today's top stories and Power of 5 weather from News 5, sponsored by Akron Children's Hospital. I hope you're having a great evening. Here's a look at today's top stories. The White House shared today that President Joe Biden will be making a trip to Cleveland next week to give a speech on the economy. Expect uh, details to be released soon, including information on just where that speech will be held. This is Biden's second trip to Ohio since he took office. He stopped at The Ohio State University in March to mark the vaccination of 100 million Americans. The 21-year-old who was shot in the chest on a Metro bus in Akron Tuesday has died. Police say a 17-year-old is now charged with William Howell's murder. They say officers working at the Metro Transit Authority heard the gunshots and quickly took the teen into custody. They found a gun in his waistband, and they believe he used it during that shooting. Another 17-year-old who was stopped at the time was let go without being charged. There were multiple passengers on that bus at the time of, of that shooting, but no one else was hurt. All right, let's get outside. Hello, Mark Johnson. Hello there, everybody. It's going to be a nice, mild overnight with lows in the 60s by 7 a.m. Here you go. Nice commute into work or school. 80s tomorrow. The threat for rain is about 2% during the afternoon along any lake breeze that gets going. Uh, it looks like a mild Thursday night into Friday morning as well. 7 a.m. You're in the 60s. Akron, Canton, Willoughby, Lorraine, everywhere you go, generally 60s. 62 tonight for Cleveland. Partly cloudy, not as cool. Pleasant night. Tomorrow, we're going to get warmer. How about 87, maybe even 88 degrees? Can you believe that? Yes, indeed. Almost off the uh, top of the map there. 86 to 88. Sun, clouds, heat, more humidity coming our way. The threat for a shower, 2%. 59 for Akron tonight. 85 tomorrow. Your seven day. You're in the 80s through Sunday. Sponsored by Akron Children's Hospital.